We can use tables to display and organize information in our drawings in a similar way that we would use a spreadsheet. We're going to make a table like this one that shows an electronics parts list. Besides the data that's in the table, the table also has a format. Choices such as the text style and the formatting of each of the cells is held in information known as my table style. I can have multiple table styles in any drawing. To work with my tables, I'm going to go to the Annotate tab, go over to the Tables tool palette, and I have tools for creating a table, and I have tools for managing my table styles. Let's look at table styles first. When I open the Table Styles dialog box, every drawing always comes loaded with the standard table style. You can have multiple table styles inside any drawing, but you can only use one at a time. Here I see a preview of what the standard looks like. I have the ability to set a different table style current, if I have another one. I can create a new one, or I can modify the existing table style. In this case, we're going to create a new table style, and we're going to call this parts list. It's going to be uh, start with the standard, and then we'll edit it. And I get my new table styles dialog box. I can select a table to start from. I can either take the default, which is this table right here that I'm seeing a preview, or I could click here and go into my drawing and choose an existing table that I wanted to use as a starting point for my new style. I can select the direction, either up or down. That means that my title and headers would either be at the bottom or the top of my table. I can set the uh, cell styles for how the cells that are going to hold data, the cells that will be headers, the, the cell that will be the title. For each of these cell styles, I can make choices about the general properties such as the fill colors, the alignment of the data that's in the cell, the format, or the type of data that's going to be held there. I can also make choices about the text style that's going to be used and the text size and color. Also, the formatting of the borders of each of the cells and how the edges are, and, and lines are going to be displayed. You can see that I can, if I want the uh, data to be displayed in the top and the center of each of the cells, or if I would like it to be displayed top and right, and this is what I'm going to choose so that all of the data is over on the right hand side of the cell uh, and lined up for like I would have money and that kind of information. With that I'm going to say OK and we've created our parts list table style. Now it is current right now you can see it's kind of highlighted and it's the top of the list. If it wasn't, if it was the standard I could set that current and you see that it's got a slight shadow on it or the parts list set current and close.